All right, guys, we left off at a pretty good place. Uh, I want to continue with this uh, base before we wrap this up. So first thing I want to do is select this surface on one of these sides and go to create sketch. And let's toggle back on our canvas while we're at it. And I do want to uh, do a nice, nice little offset. So we'll choose offset, select this border and let's bring it in just a bit. So we're somewhere around here right once we have this we'll right click hit ok let's press pull this in we're just going to offset this just a little bit somewhere around here and change it from cut to new body hit ok and let's mirror this body to the other end by going to create mirror let's ensure the type is um, on body and let's select the new body we just created. For the mirror plane will be this plane here. Hit OK. Now let's combine. So we'll go to modify, combine the main body with the two new bodies. Change it from join to cut. And we should have two red um, cutout pieces here. So we'll let's hit OK. So if we toggle off our canvas, See, we have this little miniature detail here that's going to make a big difference once we're um, on the next portion of the um, series. So another part I do want to fix is this sharp corner here. So let's toggle off this body. Let's hit F to go into fillet mode and I'm going to round this off. So when we round this off by 0 0.14, I'm going to control C. To copy these uh, inputs and then I'm gonna toggle back on the body we turned off and turn off the body we had turned on so I can select this area hit F to enter fillet mode and I'll select this corner and I'll hit control V to paste those um, inputs that we just copied from that last ordeal so now if we toggle back on that body we toggled off you'll see that it fits perfectly and this is what we want nice uh, nice fit so with that being done we'll move forward to the next part and we'll start creating that detail that we saw on the other reference so we don't have any exact measurements for this so we kind of have to eyeball it so I'm going to select this surface go to create sketch and we know it is a um, perfect square or rectangular cutout so what we'll do is you know, go to where we see it on the reference somewhere about here or maybe a little higher and then we'll just start to you know get that shape that we need right about here right click hit OK and let's rotate the view so we can see how this looks in comparison that looks actually really good so what we now can do is mirror this so I'm going to go to create mirror select the top the bottom and the side and for the mirror line will be the center line and we'll hit OK and I do want to bring this in because it looks like it's a little bit too far out let's just bring this in I don't know if we need to bring this lower but yeah let's bring this up a little bit higher Let's shift select all four of these profiles and we can right click, press pull them all at once to get a nice cutout shape right about here. We don't want to go too far in, just a little bit. So this looks fine right about here. And we're going to ensure the operation is on cut and hit OK. So we get this nice cutout here. So once we start getting to the detail section here in a bit, we'll start adding this. But for now, I think it's safe that we can uh, hit F to go into fillet mode. Select the bottom. We'll select the top corners. And we'll just start to dial this in to get that nice and round. Not too round to where it loses the shape, but just round enough to, you know, match the reference how we see it. 
Once we're satisfied, we'll hit OK. And for the last part of the minor details section, we'll just do this cut. So we'll toggle back on the canvas, go to the right view. And let's start to get this detail here. So what I want to do is go to create sketch, select a 2D plane or 2D background. And then I can start mimicking this shape. And this is going to be relatively simple. So we're going to use the line tool. And this isn't a perfect square because you see on this side it's close to a square, but towards the back end, it's nice and round. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to eyeball these shapes. I'm just going to copy this. And we're excluding the round um, corners. We don't need those. At least not yet. So now that we have this blocked out with the line tool, we're going to go to create arc, three point arc, and we'll just start to round these off. And that's good that we use the line tool. Now we have, you know, a reference point. In here to here. Now we can use the trim tool to start to clip off these lines that we don't need. Once we're done with that, we can right click, hit OK, go to the offset tool, and let's offset this line. We'll bring it to match this one here. Right click, hit OK. Finish sketch. We're going to go to modify, split face. We'll select both of these. And for the splitting tool, we'll be. The outer line first, hit OK. And we're going to go back to our sketch, drop down, and toggle back on that last sketch. And we're going to repeat by right clicking, going up to repeat split face. Select our faces that we want to split. And for the splitting tool, will be this inner area said okay now if we toggle off that sketch and minimize it we can see what we just um, created and now we can press pull this surface by selecting it right click press pull we'll just press pull this off a little bit we'll hit Control c to copy these values hit okay and we'll repeat that on the opposite end. So we'll go to right click, go up to repeat, press pull, select this surface as well as this one. And we can hit control V. Now let's hit okay. And we have it just the way we want it. Now, lastly, what we'll do, and I think we'll do this on the next video. And it's actually just our start to cut out these shapes and we can actually do it now. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see where we are for time. All right, so we're at the 10 minute mark. So I'll end this video here and we'll wrap up the uh, minor detail section within the next video.